What's going on YouTube, man? It's your boy, the True Raw Gaming. I don't wrap it up for you, man. I don't shoot it for you. I'm gonna get that shit to you raw. In today's video, we are back. And I just want to take time out to say that I really do appreciate the support that you guys would get on my last video. Um, and not just my last video, on just about my entire channel, man. I really appreciate it. I, I see the day ones who's been here since day one. I appreciate you guys. Shout out to everybody who's been following me. And I just really wouldn't be here in this position if it wasn't for you guys. So... I do appreciate all the support on the polls, the shorts, even my videos. So, thank you. And with that being said, let's get into the video that we're talking about today. Because today we are doing something a little bit different. I'm doing my top three underrated picked heroes. I'm talking low pick rate heroes that you really don't see too much online. And these heroes are going to actually teach you the skills that you need to become a better overall player. That is a lot. Now, let me explain the reason for me making this video. The reason I'm making this video is because in making the uh, Piranha University, there are a lot of tips and, 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 and things that I teach you that can be applied to multitude of characters across the board. But certain characters teach you and force you to learn these things harder. And in some of these skills that you have to learn, like it's not an option, you have to know how to do it. It has to be done very well to even see progression with that hero. And if you don't, it's not for you. And I think that is also a contributor of why certain people play certain heroes because they're a lot easier to play, which also contributes to why you see a lot of the same heroes. Hiroshi. <clears throat> uh, anyway, so here's my top three heroes, man. Like I said, the criteria is these guys are going to be teaching you certain things that are just going to make you a lot better overall player guys if you guys enjoy this video and my content make sure you drop a like drop a sub drop a comment down below guys what you guys want to see next so let's go to the first one these are in no particular order man the first one i gotta go with raider man raider 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 has been a staple for i don't know how long now he's not in the per se the top top of the top meta he isn't the the, the dog and the beast that he used to be with his flash banging blinding out of your screen you wouldn't dare play this game in the dark because if this man landed a top light your retinas would just fall out of your, your body it just it's just what it was man uh, he's no longer in those days he's no longer in the days of his massively high damage heavies that were just completely across the board way higher than anyone else's and it was just ridiculous so um also no more of the uh, <laughs> the dodge guard breaks i don't know who came up with that that is that has to be the <laughs> That has to be the most rage-inducing thing. Just, just imagine, like, a dodge guard break. It was instant, and it would always catch you, and no matter what kind of recovery you get getting caught. Well, that's, so that's, that's, that's beside the point. Now, I put Raider on this list because um, he's going to teach you certain things, and his certain things is you visually will be able to see clearly that you are doing the exact same thing over and over and over. And I put him first because that specific point that I had here, this character will clearly show you visually and you will be able to see the repercussions of why you don't do the exact same mix-ups, the same cadence, the same timing, the, 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 the everything. It has to be some kind of mix-ups. For this character to even still work today, he doesn't have the high damage and just raw output that he used to have, that he used to be to get away with. You still have to have some kind of skill to behind this character now. So that one right there is a big one. You have to recognize that you are doing the exact same thing two it's going to teach you how to condition your opponent now this goes with the first tip that i said for raider um but conditioning your opponent is you kind of have to do the same thing but you have to have some kind of deviation in it where you can do light into stun tap into light heavy you can probably get away with that once or twice but if you're doing light into stun tap light that that light's getting paired it, you cannot consistently throw that light even if you switch the side you cannot consistently that's three lights in a row they're gonna just start i don't know taking chances at that point so maybe if you do light into uh top light uh of the stun tap and then you go into a zone and then you go to a soft rate soft rate into a, uh, a guard break or you can do a heavy just to give the indicator and then go into a soft rate guard break but that is an example of what i mean by conditioning your opponent you got to do some kind of uh, relative familiarness to get him to bite on something and then it teaches you how to externally attack your opponents raider 
uh, used to be back in the day, he used to be a menace in a team fight, dude. Uh, once they gave him those switching sides, unblockables, it just, he just shot up, dude. Yeah, you, you think the zone was coming on one side, and it was only that one side? Nope, now it's coming on both sides. Now you have to be able to know how to deal with it because now when you're sitting here in these team fights and you lock on to that back guy and everyone in front of you is just worried about fighting and dodging around, you're just sweeping wide, sweeping heavies. You're going to catch everybody. Everybody. Don't even dodge. Yeah, I know. You you want to catch the Shinobi. Yeah, that, that's how you do it. We, we know. I know. I'm not going to go too much because you're not going to be sitting here talking shit about Shinobi. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't going to tolerate it. But anyway. That's 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 Raider. Number two, I gotta go with Gladiator. Now I can't go all of them into the Vikings. I gotta go to Gladiator. Gladiator has very special and particular skills that you need to be a dominant person, like, even just be decent. Because I think with this character, he's one of those characters where um, either you're doing mix-ups, you know what you're doing, or you just like it. It's just what it is. Um, so Gladiator, he's gonna teach you how to be patient. Um, with Gladiator, his particular combos and a lot of his damage uh, comes in bits and parts it doesn't necessarily come in with one big uh, uh, over and over and over combo like like for example uh, who's one uh, we got Hito Hito Kiri she can just kick heavy kick heavy and it's just a continuously chain you can do that but the odds of that happening is just it's just not happening I mean, we got too many dodges in the game too many dodge bashes too many dodge attacks now um, so you're gonna have to know how to, you know, chip your opponent away. This is kind of teach you how to do that, how to control the pacing. You don't have the option to sit there and delete people in one combo. You gotta slowly chip them down. Uh, number two, it's gonna teach you how to string your reads together. Now, when I mean by stringing your reads together, this is what they call, uh, is it multi multi-dimensional reads or multi-step reads, whatever you want to call it basically what it is is you're making a read on top of a read on top of a read so you're making your read to do something to start that chain and you're making your read to know that he's going to do something else and you're throwing that attack based on that read so you have to string multiple reads on top of each other and what this character does is he gets you get your brain moving and gets you thinking about what's going to potentially happen especially because this character is not 100% safe when it comes to fours and team fights which rolls into my last one he's going to teach you how to be safer on offense uh, I think that is what I need to be talking to you guys about uh, a lot of guys take way too many risks unnecessarily on offense um, for example with the stamina management um, how many times have you seen a guy have almost no stamina he's going for that unblockable and and you're like bro you you literally let all your stamina go down and now you're throwing the blockable so now if you faint it you're out of stam but if you throw it it's gonna get parried because you can't afford to faint it so it's like you put yourself in that position you know to really put yourself in a lose-lose situation so with gladiator he teaches you how to have a safer offense because it's forcing you to slow it down be more patient and string your reads together and actually think about what you're going to do instead of just throwing lights. Yes, you can probably just throw lights for your first rep or two. But after that, you, you're going to get parried. <laughs> you're going to get parried really quickly, man. Uh, my last one, um, my personal opinion, I think this is the better one of the three. Uh, and I have to go with Valkyrie. Valkyrie is probably one of the characters you never see online and there is for a good reason the character is no longer a busted machine that she was when she first got those changes to the 20 damage <laughs> the 20 damage light attack after a bash and then if you miss the bash you were still able to follow up chain with a switch side attack uh, so your offense really never stops uh, right now valkyrie i would say is still good um if you play her right, uh, she's just one of those characters. Either you're good or you're ass. Um, there, there's really no in between. I'm not the greatest with her, and I got 25 reps with her. Um, there's games where I'm like, damn, he looks like he's really good with this character. And the next game, I'm going three and seven. It's just how it is, bro. Um, <clears throat> the things with Valkyrie is she does pretty much everything above that I already explained. Um, you're gonna see very, very easily that you're doing the exact same thing. Uh, a lot of times people are going to dodge off the second attack automatically just trying to dodge the sweep. So you're going to see very 
uh, off the rip if you're doing the same thing and whatnot. So uh, it's going to teach you how to condition your opponent as well. Like I told you, you're going to have to show something. Um, it's going to teach you how to external. She's got really good heavies, really good zone. Uh, she's going to teach you how to be patient. You're going to have to be patient with people doing trying to just dodge that sweep for absolutely no reason. Even if you don't throw it, they're just going to dodge anyway. Um, it's going to teach you how to string your reads together exactly. You want to get that sweep. You want to get that damage off, but it's, they're going to make it hard by just dodging anyway. Uh, teaching you how to be safe. You got to be careful with the, uh, the going into the stance. Um, if you just do it way too much, you're going to get GB'd out of it. And every time you you make a wrong move going into the, the, the stance, uh, getting GB'd is just not fun. It's, it's not a good thing. So uh, another thing is she's going to show you how to read. This character is reads. If it was a physical manifestation of reads, this character is reads. It's going to teach you how to read. Once again, for those who want to know how to read, you got to play this character. You can't um, you can't just not play the character. Um, the character is pretty difficult to play. I will say that you. this is more of the harder side because it's going to show if you know what you're doing or if you don't. It's just really the only between. Um, knowing how to read your opponent is you, you got to know when you're able to go into that stance. Uh, when they're gonna just try to GB you out of it. Um, the zone is also a read, especially when you're going against people who have the um, the uh, crush encounter to just want to light out of your your indicators uh, when you try to do your zone. So when you do that zone, you come up with that, that follow up. Are you gonna faint to a parry? Are you gonna go into stance? Maybe he's gonna GB you out of it after that. Or is he gonna crush and counter it through and you let it go? So there's a lot of different reads. You gotta know his timing. You gotta know if he's gonna dodge. Does he have a dodge attack? Does he have a dodge bash? So this might be better. You gotta really know a lot to actually be good with the character. You gotta know a lot of different things about every character and you have to know how to read your opponent and condition them properly in a short amount of time. So Valkyrie, I would say, is probably the best one of the three. Um, and then the last one, she can teach you how to peel really good. Um, uh, I didn't realize uh, a lot of people online don't know what peeling is or they don't understand the concept of peeling. Um, because when you play MM, if you solo queue, uh, you, you won't get anybody to help you get out of the situation. I mean, how many times have you been on the ground and the shaman is, is on top of you, just, just all in your neck? I'm talking like Dracula's daughter from, from you know, just all in there. I'm, I'm talking in there, giving you hickeys and everything. And, 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 and nobody nobody's turning around to, to save you. They're just, they're just like, oh, I want to get this guy. He's one shot. This is my one kill. So, yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we've all been there. So. That's what I mean by peeling, man. You got to know how to save people, get them out of the situations where you're just in a fucked up spot. So the character can show you that because she's got a lot of a lot of good range on her moves, especially for the side dodges too. You can get out of dodge with some of the some of the bullshit moves in the game, uh, even with your 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 bash attack. I mean, you, you got some pretty good range on there. Um, so the sweep, you can really just turn around and sweep someone. It's really good. I think the zone is is probably the the, the highlight for the peel, man. It just it comes out so quick, and the, the forward step momentum is just really good, especially if you're trying to hawk someone down. So uh, a lot of good options with the character. I think that one would be the best of the three to show you what you need to get them, but you're going to have to really work with that character. So hopefully this, this was uh, helpful for you guys in any kind of way, man. If you guys enjoy this content or any of my content, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment down below on what you guys want to see next.